Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome to Tilt Tuesday, where we are doing Surter. A little bit of Surter Tilt. I don't know, like, okay. Here's the thing. I got some, like, mixed feelings about Surter. I don't think he's bad. I mean, he is, he's a warrior, and warriors are in a really bad spot right now in general. So, like, that's something to consider. But I don't think that he's bad as a character um i just think that he's being neglected they they launched him they released surter he is not played anywhere and smite's response to that is yeah must be in a good spot <laughs> um and i think that because he's neglected okay so let me explain smite released surter and then shortly after, they released that patch that was like, hey, we're lowering everyone's power, okay? And I've, I've been very vocal about how much I hated that patch, by the way. Um, and then after they lowered everyone's power, over the past, you know, six months or so, however long it's been, they've just been buffing it back up. So I, it, genuinely, that patch did nothing, and I think it's a dumbass change. But whatever, what do I know, right? I'm just a player. Um... So, what happens is, they lowered everyone's power, and then they do massive changes, buffing everybody's everything back up. I like, like, just, okay, today's Tuesday, right? Till Tuesday. They released a patch today, and they buffed, I shit you not, like 20 different gods. And most of the time, those, those buffs on those gods, it's not like, oh, I'm buffing Cupid 1. It's like, oh, I'm buffing Cupid 1, 2, and ultimate. Plus, his passive charge is faster. Plus, he has 40% built in attack speed. You know, like, they're just crazy buffs that make no sense. Um, And while all those people are getting those buffs, like that, like, global buff, Surter is not, which means he's being kind of left in the dust a bit. The, you lowered his power by 30%. He never got played anymore, but you're kind of neglecting him. And I think because of that, because not his character design, but actually the balance changes that they've done, he's he's not good. Um, and that's that's why warriors in general aren't very good either, by the way, because warriors they're buffing all the power items and or uh, power items and power or like damaging abilities of other gods, but they're kind of leaving warriors alone. Um, but who knows? Maybe they're setting up for something. Maybe they're setting up for like a warrior-wide damage buff or something like that. Or a warrior-wide defense buff. Because um, that's really what it is, right? Like, if you're, a, if you're a warrior player, you're very happy when it's in a tank meta and you're very sad when it's in a damage meta. So, we'll see how it's going. And uh, it's shifting more from tank into damage right now because of all the changes they're doing. So... Like I said, Surtur and other warriors are getting kind of left in the dust. Even even as Hercules, you feel the difference, right? Like, when you 2-1 combo someone, they don't just implode. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just biased or something. My clear is pretty good. That's nice. I would like to pick that up. <clears throat> but either way, we're doing Surtur on Tilt. And I'll see how I feel about him. I'm not 100% sold on if he's Tilt worthy yet. He could he could honestly still be pretty decent, you know? And if that is the case, then I have to make that adjustment. Also, I literally cannot do anything here. I'm just going to try to hurt him because I, I literally cannot... I will never get the buff. Oh, nice. I killed him. Nice, I killed him. I couldn't get the buff because he has an execute, kind of like Bakasura, right? So. I do want to try one thing out, actually. During, not necessarily this game because he's a mage, but during my tilt video today, I assume I will fight... A physical god at some point i want to try cannoneers the 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 breastplate thing that does 
like it instantly kills a minion because what you can do oh, i missed what you can do is actually charge up your um you can charge up your passive with it like your one to get this extra damage out of it and i think i think low key like it might be good like i said i've never tried it yet but i've been i've been told about it quite often and from the people's stories it seems kind of crazy <laughs> so because if you don't know this little number right here the six is actually your one so when you hit something with your one <clears throat> on surter it does tick damage to them and if they die during the next three seconds while that tick damage is active then it increases your bonus damage of the ability so you Surter is a, a physical god, a warrior, but he does magical damage with his one. So it does five damage per stack increasing, right? So what you do with cannoneers is you pop your one and then you pop cannoneers. And because of that, you should theoretically, of course, again, I've never tried it. Um, you should theoretically be able to stack up this one massively quick, increase your magical damage to like basically become a mage. And it, it'll be nuts. Also, you are dead as hell here. You do not win this, my guy. He has shell. Let's bait the shell. Going in shell. Uh-oh. My minions are killing him. My minions killed him. Let's actually go. What in the universe? Max my two second because that does a really good damage. Cannoneers doesn't work on buffs, right? That would actually be crazy. Oh my God. Could you imagine if Cannoneers worked on buffs? It is a physical defensive item. Wait, it's a double d defensive item. Oh, y'all are probably screaming at me this whole time. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, your next successful basic attack on an enemy lane minion causes it to explode, instantly killing it and dealing 50 damage plus 20 per level. Or plus 10 per level, I'm sorry. Um, and an AoE to other minions. And a god if he's there. So, actually, that's like, that's, re I mean, that's pretty good, right? And provides bonus gold, too. But it provides bonus gold to a nearest ally, right? It probably doesn't work like as a self buff. We'll find out. That's a good ass item, dude. 250 health and 20 MP5. The protections could probably be buffed a little, like to 30. Maybe 35. But yeah, so once every seven seconds, I can just do this. Boom. Explode one. And then I can just wait for my cooldown of my one to come up and do it again because the cooldown of my one and the cooldown of cannoneers are the same. And I can just start Omega stacking my passive. Wait, does it work on this? It doesn't. Yeah, the damage of my one is already at 200. That's actually pretty insane. By the way, it does work on this big minion here. I missed. It does work on the big minion. I just suck. <laughs> While you are abusing me, I am stacking. Okay. And actually because i'm already at 16 stacks i'm pretty sure my one by itself even without cannoneers even without cannoneers it probably kills the smaller minions right now but yeah so this 17 by the way it gets multiplied by five per damage as you see there we can blow up a big one like i said so like when i do <clears throat> when i have 20 stacks my one is doing an extra 100 magical damage 
which I don't really have to tell you, is really good for a physical god. Bonk. Look at this. Look at that. That did 241 damage. <sighs> Does Cannoneers work on the minis here? No, it doesn't. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, he has shell, but I don't think he lives even with shell. I got slightly scared here, so I so I used my shell. So I'm a big baby. All right, let's do red buff. Nice. <clears throat> let's just go full damage, honestly. Like, I want Crusher and I want Serrated for sure. Crusher's going to make my one do even more. And, well, I mean, not really, but it's going to do give it more tick damage. <clears throat> and then... I guess I could actually go Heartseeker, huh? Come to think of it. Dude, it's starting to do so much damage. 35 plus 125. Uh, he's got the, the treasure chest here. I can't keep up with him. Does this only work on lane minions? Yeah, it does. So it doesn't work on any of these. But the damage is so high right now that it's actually one hitting anything I hit it with. The maximum amount of stacks you're allowed to have is 200, by the way. I would love on one of my videos to try to achieve that. It would take like probably 45 minutes. But that does mean that it would do 600 magical damage. So it would hit and it would do 83 physical damage per tick. For, so three times. Plus the bonus damage, which is initial. Which is initial, by the way. All of the magical damage you do is done on the, the first hit. Like that first smack up. So, I don't know, man. Imagine doing this and doing 600 damage with it. That's pretty insane. We're just trying to stack right now. All right. 32 stacks. Grab that. Do it again. I think my minion's gonna kill him. Unlucky. Unlucky, unlucky. I wonder if I can actually get Cannoneer's Curse to work perfectly game one. Like, like fully stack my passive with it game one. You are not in a position where you can fight. Okay, well, you did this to yourself. Literally taking time out of my so detrimental fight just to just to, <laughs> to clear minions and get some cannoneer stacks. Or it's not cannoneers, my my one stack, but you know what I mean. I want to do it on this red buff. There we go. 38 stackies.
He's doing my blue buff, man. That is that is not allowed, sir. What the hell? Wow, I actually just... I used my one on the big minion, and it worked. I think what I can do is I can go Heartseeker. I could go Heartseeker and hit, hit him with my one. And just do a shit ton of explosion damage. Heartseeker plus Crusher on my one. All right, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I got 4.3k gold. I got 45 stacks. So I'm, I'm what? Almost. I'm not even halfway. Actually. So never mind. I'm going to say I'm almost halfway, but I, it's not even close. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know where I was getting that from. I'm not even close. Yo, what if we got Shadow Drinker? What does this even do? You get a kill, go stealth, and gain 30% move speed. No, fuck it. I'm in. Honk. Honk. As you can tell, I genuinely don't care about what he's doing because he he cannot win this game. If I'm if I'm actually stacking correctly with my one, well, let me put it this way: even if he was Chronos at level twenty, he he wouldn't have a chance. If I'm correctly using my one, it is it is just simply the strongest late game character in the video game. I kind of want to go Aussie, actually. Oh my god, did you see how much damage that bonk did? What on earth? Look at this. Oh my god! That fucking bonk! That fucking bonk! Holy crap. I definitely want life steal by the way. I think life steal would go unbelievably hard. Actually, maybe I go soul eater. Like I know it's a little late. I probably should go max cooldown as well. All right, I'm changing up the build. Forget shadow drinker. I'm going to get my damage. I'm going to get damage from um gonna get all of my damage from my one so i just need max cooldown so obviously because i'm a warrior i get 10 percent base cooldown and then i get 10 percent from transcendence 10 percent from genji's and i'll get 10 percent from soul eater when that's finished you know it's kind of unfortunate cannon cannon ears is so good early game and so bad late game Oh my god! My one does 400 damage per tick. Oh my god! What the fuck? Lord have mercy on this poor man. Holy crap. By the way, I'm not going to take his Phoenix because I'll make it look like I'm trying. But, uh, because I don't... If I take his Phoenix and I kill him, then my minions will win the game. How much damage is this doing right now? What's 60 times 5? 
Wait. I just realized when your one is maxed out, it doesn't do 600 damage. It does a thousand damage. Oh my God. Did you get 200 stacks and each stack does five damage? Oh my God. I can do a thousand damage per auto attack. What? What the actual hell? That, that, that should not be allowed. Look at this. Look, 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 look. You see this? Bonk. Oh my God. My one, I hit him twice. It did 700 damage almost. Holy shit. I have 70 stacks. What's 70 times 5? 350? You're telling me my 1's magical damage right when I proc it does 400 unmitigated damage? I can make my magic damage so high that it one hits a buff. That I could 3 hit bull demon. Holy shit. Okay, I want to do this more than ever. I want to do this more than ever. This is incredible. If Elden plays along, this could be easily the best video I've ever released. And it's not even comparable. This is this is fantastical. Did you do blue? You didn't. I have max cooldown, by the way, too, right now, so. So I am getting perfect rotations here. Ow. I have 80 now. I got 10 pretty quick just now. He's going ethereal. 82. Eighty four. Let's see the damage. Bonk. That's in his tank form, by the way. It did 400 damage to him in his tank form. You're just dead. You are just dead. I'm like, I know I can't build any magical power, so uh, technically it just does what it says it does. But if I have a 500 pot, a red buff and a 3k pot, does it do even more damage? Because if it does, that would actually be kind of insane. Wait, my my cannoneers killed him. I hit a minion next to him and he it killed him. What? Okay, I have a 500 pot, a 3k pot, and a red buff. I really want to I really want to punch him in the head. Like really wanna.
bonk. Oh my god. Bonk. Dude. Yo, can I just get a shout out to my dude Elden, who seems to have understood the premise of this video and is letting me perfect it on him? I'm almost halfway done, by the way. <laughs> I'm almost halfway done with my passive. I'm now halfway done. Boyfic. Wow, my damage is crazy. Soul Eater is a massive help, by the way. I miss. I miss again. I think you're dead. By the way, oh my God! I, I don't, I don't even know what to say, man. This is. By the way, obviously, I'm not gonna do this multiple times. Like, I'm just gonna play normal after this game. Can I see how much damage my one auto attack does to Bull Demon? You have 9,310 health. You have eight. Okay, it did 1,100. <laughs> my one by itself did 900 damage to Bull Demon. And I'm only half stacked, by the way. Oh my god. I was just clearing the clearing the wave. Hey, he's back dooring me. I missed. Him. It doesn't matter what he builds. It's, it's over for him. <laughs> I'm still... Dude, I it takes so long to do this though. Holy shit. This is going to be like at least a 45 minute game. Let's back. I gotta rebuy my potions. Jesus. I could sell the cannoneers actually. Like I definitely don't need it anymore. Come to think of it, I don't know why the hell I even have it.
All right, please. You, you, you know you can't win the fight, dude. You know it. Bonk. <laughs> like what? The fuck? what the fuck? I don't understand, man. It's too much. It's too much for my tiny little brain. Holy crap. I kind of feel bad too. Cause like he knows, he knows what, what he's doing. He knows he's helping me and I'm sure he knows there's no way in hell he wins the late game. Also those minis have 900 HP and I one hit them. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. I'm gonna die, dude. Not, not in game, like in real life. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Oh, I didn't pick up my red. I was too busy. Oh, man. Holy crap. All right. A hundred and forty three stacks. I'm closing in, dude. We're closing in. If this is one point three K health. What happens if I hit it? It goes down to one point one K. All right, one point two thousand. Not bad. I should genuinely sell. I should sell something. What if I just altered you though? Oh my God, my one did six, six, six. I am 150 stacks in. Just under 30 minutes. Although the stacks have been, they've been heating up, you know, they've been, they've been getting a little bit faster because, you know, max cooldown and whatnot. What should I sell for my last item? Like, well, I mean, it's not what should I sell. It's what should I get for my last item? I know my last item is probably going to be like another defensive item because I don't need more damage, obviously. Although I could go Mystical Mail and, and turn Surter into a Mage. Because Mystical Mail does magic damage and my one will do like a thousand magical damage. That could be interesting. First things first though. I have seven and a half thousand gold. Let's just go buy all these potions. Perfect. I'm potioned up right now. Oh, he, he sold? He sold some stuff and went double lifesteal. Not a terrible plan. Oh, he's doing bull demon. Yeah. 
Yo, my my auto attack just did 1.2k or 1.6k to bold even. Yo. Yo. Hold on. I, I want to get my stack with him. Thank you. No, he surrendered. I'm at 166. No. Okay, but like, holy shit. <laughs> that was incredible man that was incredible what a lovely first game of surter gg gamer what a lovely first game of surter holy crap 166 what is hold on let me where's my calculator 166 times 5 plus 35 my my one was doing 865 damage. So my auto attack would hit and then the initial tick damage of my one and then crusher and then heart seeker and then the 865 damage plus the tick damage, which was like 130. My one was doing like 2K because my autos were doing 400, right? Let's just say Heartseeker was doing, I mean, let's be like, let's, let's go on the low end, right? We'll do like 70 and then we'll do a Heartseeker is probably doing like 50. And then the tick damage is 80 times three, which is 240. My one was doing 1600 damage. I one hit the bull demon at 1500 health. Holy fuck. I'll see you guys in game two. Hello, boys. I'm back. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I'm in a I'm in a tragic game. This video game is not gonna go my way. I'm fighting guy. Oh no. He has 20 stars. Oh no. <laughs> uh I need, I need all of the help. If there's any help on the planet, please give it to me. I am so screwed. Oh God. I mean, I just go beads, right? I'm fighting a Hades. I can't invade a Hades, but if he wants to invade me, I lose. I mean, do I just say who cares? I probably, I probably just say who cares, right? Like, let's be honest. If he invades me, there's nothing I can do. I'm not going to get delusional about it. If I invade him, I just help him clear because it's an extra body to detonate his blight off. All right. You know what? Good luck. We go in. Nice. Decent clear. All right. Not terrible yet. No. Oh, this is not good. Uh, he actually got the red buff. He's also level 5 already. Damn. It sucks that he got the red there. Okay. I have ult now. I have to kind of let him run me into the ground right now. Because I just straight up cannot fight. Okay. 
Yeah. This is how this game is going to go until a very, 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 very late game. He's going to sit here. He's going to bully me. I'm going to cry because there's nothing I can do. And everyone knows it. I mean, all for alt, I guess, right? Am I dead here? Oh, God. Damn. He's waiting for his 2-3 combo up. I was juking as hard as I could, man. You have slain an enemy. What is he doing? What is he doing? I got five stacks of transcendence off that. <laughs> I'll take it. I mean, I'll take it. I got, I got the bounty kill. Sure, I guess. I don't know why he did that. But fuck it, who cares? I'm in. Alright, let's go see if I got XP camps up. I don't. Nice! I got it! Why did he drop a ward? I don't have to tell you this is a horrible matchup, by the way. I'm sure you guys all know. Yeah. Oh, dead though? Dead though? Let's go! Tick damage, baby! Let's go, tick damage! Let's go, dude. Um, I go Genji's because I want cooldown. I think cooldown is going to be massive for me here. Again, I died and then killed him and got the bounty. He's going to get red buff. I really don't care. I'm not going to win a fight. Like, I'm... As much as I want to win a fight, I am not delusional. The only fights I win are fights that he fucks up. Like, let's just call it how it is. <laughs> I also cannot get a buff from him, so... Um, he dropped a ward over here. He did his blue buff. The XP camp should be up, though. Nice. I'll see if maybe I can... Oh, never mind. If I only have to wait like a second or two for a stack on my, on my one, it is probably worth doing. No, I missed. Ow. Oh, he is double lifesteal, bro. I ain't killing shit. He's getting full health right here. Ah. Uh, oh, well. Just run. There's nothing I can do here, so I'm just gonna invade. Stop my back. I should go beat stick probably. There is no weapon more fine than uh three does increase my movement speed by default, right? Yeah, it does. I wasn't sure if it only increased my movement speed if I um If I hit something or not. Him having double lifesteal is going to be so fucking hard for me, though. Are you going, you go breastplate now? 
Yeah, this is going to be a hard game. Let's see if treasure chests are up, maybe. They are. He definitely just wants his blue. There's definitely nothing I can do about him. I mean, hold up, though. Maybe I just straight up kill his ass? He's gonna hold me here? Oh, he's not. He's just gonna run. Alright. No, I missed the stun. Yo, that stun wins me the game. And now he gets full health because he's double life steal. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, skis. That's great damage, though. That's great damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. It bounced the wall. This is just going to be a completely absurd game, I think. I actually don't know if I have a chance. I have to save my two here because he's going to go over the wall. His one did 395 damage. Which I don't understand at all, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to go straight into Pesty here, too. Like there, there's, there's nothing. There's nothing I can do. Oh God, I might just lose this. I don't know how Hades got through. I don't know. I don't know what he banned. I wasn't paying attention. I'm pretty sure he did everything, right? Oh, he didn't he actually, he actually left me some stuff. I didn't check if my treasure chest is still up. I assumed he took it. Oh, but he didn't. Nice. Honestly, if I can keep my tower alive for like quite a bit longer, I will be very happy. wave dude all right a tanky man what should i go second relic here i'm thinking a blink like, I could get a fire blink, maybe. All right, let's just go get my pestilence real quick. Okay. I think you die here. Nope. You do not. Way too tanky. 
But I might get tower here, actually. Nice. Let's go, baby. That's a kill. That's a kill. We take those. Um, is your blue actually up? No, it's not. All right. That's fine. I'm just going to back. Pestilence is going to help me so much. And now I go Crusher because I want damage. I still don't know Second Relic. The good news is, like, even though I'm fighting the Hades and I am a melee character, which is just a straight-up bad matchup, the good news is that my alt, like, by using my alt and beads, off-comboing them, I can uh, never get caught in an alt, which feels really good. I don't need to I don't need to do anything here. I'm not in danger here. Actually, you're the one in danger. Yep. You're the one in danger. You have triple life steal, but I have I have max anti heal. So Let's go, my little minion dude. My little minion dude carried me. And now I get Phoenix. And also I can keep spawning little minion dudes with my one. Alright. All up. So in a normal... In a normal Surter game, you can expect to get like 50 stacks then, I guess. Because right now, I'm at, I'm at about 50. I want to upgrade that and fully upgrade my Blink. So now I have a lower cooldown beads and a fully upgraded Blink. Obviously, he's getting red. So, we're just going to wait there. He didn't get red. Wait. Okay, I can actually get red then. Nice. Gotta stand here for a second. He did get the mirrored in. Which I'm not in love with. Pretty sure he's just gonna. Oh, nice. Very nice. I might die here. Never mind that fear. That fear. I'll just clear wave. I don't want to make it risky or anything. And if I die clearing wave, it doesn't matter. I don't want to be risky about it. He should have died, but that fear was crazy. I blinked at 400. I got to start thinking about last item. That soul leader actually last game did. It did do a lot of work for me. I can't lie about that. That soul leader last game felt really good. I'm kind of thinking that I just go, like, serrated, though. It's serrated or Heartseeker for sure, because I need percent pen. Because I only have 10%. Oh, I am actually dead. Actually, I'm not dead.
Nice. I was a little scared there. I was a little scared there that I wasn't going to be able to, uh, to kill him. But it worked out. I can do a little bit of damage here. Not a whole bunch, but a little bit. A little like 1.5k love tap. I think I die if I go for this red buff. That's unfortunate. Nice. Nice. Well played. And I live. And I live. Let's go, dude. That's huge. Um, I think I go serrated. He has no anti-heal. So lifesteal is going to go far. Obviously, you grab the 500 pot. Now, I did have to use both my alt. Both my alt and my uh, beads there. So if I get caught in his alt now, I might die. But I do have my alt already up again. I want to just do bold demon here. Nice. Good Fuego Gigante. Miss. He really wants to hit me here. Nice. a little unfortunate that I couldn't kill him but also at the same time like he's got no alt now so maybe it's fine okay my son just glitched out ow I think I die landing on him maybe not Oh, good beads. Good beads. I didn't know he had beads up. Shit. All right. Fair play. Fair play. I didn't think about the beads. This is a tough game, dude. This is a tough game, dude. I could lose this like very easily. I want to make that known. If I like, you might think I, I, I can't lose this game because I'm like at his Titan, but I don't know. He does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Um. All right, let's go 500 pot two here. Let's give everything I have into this next fight. To see if we can close this game out. Because I'm honestly getting pretty scared. I didn't hyper farm my one this game. So I don't have as good of a late game. As the last few games.
I hit a minion, bro. I just lost the game, I think. I actually think I just lost the game. My auto attack hit a minion. I did I did that. I played that perfectly too, man. That's crazy. Actual perfect play. Yeah, that poly is fucking on me a bit. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Genuinely don't know what to do now. He's just going to camp it out. He got a 3k defense pot too. Instead of a 3k offense pot, he bought a 3k de Never mind, he has both. Holy fuck, he has both. Let's go! Why did he cancel his ult? Why did he cancel his ult? I don't know, but I'll take it. We went off that? Oh, please tell me we went off that. Come on, minions. Go, 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 go. I don't want to tank. I'm too low. Yeah, we went off that. Let's go, dude. Oh, my God. I thought for sure I lost that game. I had to get a 540 damage combat blink. Stun him into my combat blink. Perfect stun. Frame perfect after his ult because he canceled it. In order to win that game. Holy shit, that was insane. I'll see you guys next game. My God. What's up, Giga Gamers? Next game, Sun Wukong. I made sure to ban uh, Hebo or Hades this time because <laughs> last game got my pits looking like pools. Like it's, I'm very, very scared of Hades now in that matchup. That was That was terribly difficult. And it's not like, like, like he's a good player too. He's 2,600 MMR, which, you know, that's, that's good. That's like a master's level player. That's like high diamond, low master's level player. So he's a good player. And him having the Hebo or him having 80s scared the shit out of me. I will never make that mistake again. If I am playing Surtur, I am banning Hades for sure. Sorry, I just tabbed out to talk to Yas. I was telling him about the uh, the first game where I was stacking the I was stacking the passive, and I just walked up to the the bull demon when he had two thousand health, one hit it, and then killed him, and he surrendered. <laughs> Do you think he steals this? I feel like he kind of wants to. What am I? Oh, my phone is resetting. Installing updates. All right, no biggie. I think we're chilling. I think he just tiger stunned my minion. I'm pretty sure he just tiger stunned my minion. I guess that's going to be really hard for him this game, huh? Him trying to maneuver around my minions to hit me with a tiger stun. That's actually going to be really hard for him. He just popped his, uh, his horn shard. The only reason I say that out loud is because I like to personally keep track. Nice.
Let's just see if we can do red buff, actually. I was going to go for the wave and then just back. And then, like, meet him at red buff again. But I think I might actually just have enough time to straight up do red buff. And then back. And I do, I do. Grab this. Does maximum at one actually do anything? It actually does. It increases the damage per tick by a lot. And it increases the imp damage. And it lowers the cooldown. Okay. Maximum one is the right play. I just... I wasn't sure. Uh, I assume you probably did the XP camps, but I'm going to check anyways. Alright, lucky me. He is a soul leader, boy. Ow. I mean, I'm actually, like, not afraid, right? He has no mana. He started Soul Leader on Wukong, so he's just never going to have mana for the rest of the eternity. Alright, I come back. I'll go Regrowth here. It, this is not an item I have utilized in this uh, this video yet, and it's an extremely good item on him. But if you plan on going Hydras, which I do plan on going... Um, I do plan on going Hydras this game. Then, because of your Warrior passive, you don't want to go Breastplate. So you can actually go Regrowth and, and get 10% cooldown instead of 20%. And then go Hydras and still have max cooldown afterwards. I'm watching his gold right now, seeing if it's going up, doing his blue buff. It's not going up. Is he doing it? Oh, he just pulled it, I think. No. Ah. I didn't think he'd clear my wave that fast. I could definitely die here. Actually, why does it Loki feel like I'm going to kill him? Oh, what an insane blocky. I'm dead as fuck, by the way. No, that tower shot hit me so fast. I thought I was able to get my one off. Or, or my two off. If I hit my two, he was dead. But I just, I, I didn't think. I wasn't thinking. I got such a big brain and nothing to, nothing to use it for, man. Well, it's not a big brain. I got a big head. I assume I have a big brain inside, but like that's kind of a big assumption. <laughs> Dang it, man! That could have been so cool. But I haven't seen treasure chests anywhere, so they are definitely over here. These are up too. Nice. I am trying, like I said, to to stack effectively. Why would you go heart seeker this early? That is not a good play. Heart seeker is based off your power and my maximum HP. Neither of which are good early game. Your heart seeker just did 16 damage. All right, he's going to alt here. Yep. Probably land on me. Yep. As expected. Um. Nah. Nah, I could maybe kill. But I don't think it's worth trying, to be honest yet. I kind of want to go uh, Soul Leader as well, because his Soul Leader is doing so much work for him. And it's making me jealous. 
but I'm just going to go Hydra. I'm going to stick with the original plan, which is basically, I, I haven't even said it, but my original plan is, um, because I'm doing tilt and I did the full stack game and the last game was just super intense. I want to kind of go a little meme -y this game and I want to go with a crit Hydra's build and see if I can just like bop the shit out of them. Greedy boy, greedy boy. You went for it. I mean, you got to respect that, right? Like, you went for it. I assume this is down. Yep. Let's go get the Hydras. He is going to have Breastplate now. Which does scare me slightly. Also, my second Relic. I'm thinking this game is going to be horrific, but I need to make sure he doesn't go Sprint first. Yeah, he didn't. He went Beads. All right. So I can stop a horrific on here. And once he stuns me, once I'm out of the stun, I could go beads as well, actually. Which would definitely not be bad, come to think of it. Hydras is actually really good. I should have gone Hydras in that one, uh, the one stacking game I did. Because it works with my one. Because when I activate my one, I get the Hydra's proc. It's not like... It's not like once I hit the one. It's when I activate the one, I get the Hydra's. So... It's actually pretty good. All right. That is good damage. I'm at 26 stacks already. Honestly, playing Surter, like, I'm definitely getting better at, at, at playing him. Which I guess would make sense, right? If I wasn't getting better while playing the god that I'm supposedly trying to learn. That would be kind of cringe. I think I kill him here. We do this and then he ults maybe. Yep. Land on me. Oh, I think he beads. I think when he landed, he beads. Ow, fuck. How did my, how did my two not stun him there? I don't really know how my two didn't stun. Cause my two, I mean, it bounced right off his forehead. I was kind of unlucky. I feel like I'm actually going to go beads. It might be better. And then damage wise, serrated's obviously good. But like I said, I think I want to go crit chance here. And just go for the meme, the Hydra's crit meme. Dude, could you imagine how much damage you would have if you had Deathbringer? If you had Deathbringer and Hydras and a fully stacked passive and you just slapped someone with your one. I think it doesn't really matter who they are. They just die. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but it seems like if they get hit by that, they are deceased. Uh, red comes up soon. Right. I I can't even I can't catch him. Dude. All right.
Oh, so low. I didn't go off. No. Nice. That soul leader is actually carrying the shit out of him right now. I gotta be honest. I'm extremely jealous that I don't have one. Yeah, it's doing so much for him. Holy shit. to do that's funny all right let's go dude outplayed as fuck outplayed as fuck all right let's go straight up anti-heal there this one does give anti all right? I'm not delusional. Yeah, reduces their healing by 40% and shields applied are reduced by 50%, which is good because you get shell, so. And then I think I go, I go probably Demon Blade because Demon Blade just got buffed. Gives you more power now and the price of it got lowered. The treasures are still here. I'm pretty sure I didn't do them. I was scared for my life. Yo, that Hydra's death for your crit. Oh my god. You're gonna run past me. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh, he went serrated and soul leader. Bro, I need more anti-heal. I also need more crit and more attack speed. Actually, Boomerang is just better here, isn't it? Oh, uh, but Crit gives me Pen, which is actually super important with this. So what, what's my Crit chance at now? It's at 50%. That's fine. I don't need more than that. Your middle tower is under attack. And my last item is probably going to be... I want pen and I want attack speed. What gives me those? I want percent pen and attack speed. Dominance, maybe? Dominance is probably the best option. 15% attack speed, 20% pen on my autos. Pressure is also an option. A little bit less so, but still an option. Holy shit, he's... He heals so much, man. Okay, that was really close. He's going spectral. 
Um. Your middle tower is under attack. Shit. My meme is not gonna work, and he's actually tryharding as fuck right now. I could, I could lose. This might be the game I lose, because I was, I'm trolling with crit items, and he is not trolling. This could be bad. Oh, I think I just killed myself. He's got Spectral now. I definitely can't fight him. So let's just switch it up and see if he, uh... See if he can do anything about it. Let's just completely swap the whole fucking build randomly. I'm going to go into an auto attack focus build now. With Xe and Toxic Blade. He's going to ult, so I'm going to go off here. Oh, he baited the fuck out of me. He baited the fuck out of me. Yeah, my autos did nothing, by the way. That did not feel good. I think I need to sell my Hydras too. Um, this is a lesson in adaptability. My purpose be clear. Let's see what his build is. He sold for Midgard because I'm going attack speed. That doesn't bother me. I'm going to sell Hydras and probably go Serrated. Or Aussie. Maybe Serrated. Maybe more percent pen. I need lifesteal, man. Lifesteal is definitely my my weak spot here. Maybe I need a beat stick as well, actually. Instead of going more attack speed. I'm going to try serrated first, but we'll see. Like, serrated doesn't give me attack speed. It just gives me a shit ton of damage. But. You get the pinch. The picture. The pincher. The sphincter. You get the sphincter. Holy. Let's go, dude. Yo, that kin's shit on him. Yeah, 
Yeah, that kid's at 600. All right, so he sold his spectral. He sold his spectral because I have kins now. And he doesn't want the HP that spectral gives him, but he still has 2450, which is the maximum for kins. I lied, 2750 is. Uh, so I could sell kins now for maybe something else. I don't know. Kins is still good, though. To be honest. Is it blew up? No. Oh, that's not up. Okay. I kind of just want to do Bull Demon, but I feel like he might show up. Okay. Surprisingly not bad. I don't know why he didn't show up, but I'll take it. I'll take blue buff because I don't have max cooldown. I oh, that is not what I wanted. Uh, I actually could fight. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Actually being able to fight that is insane. Like, and, and especially being able to catch up to him. Being able to catch up to him is crazy as well. Because it's like, it's, it's actually so much move speed for my three. This Raven guy is a good player, though. That was a that was a battle of wits at the end. That wasn't like... Oh, that's crazy that the Q pops that fast. It's a battle of wits because, like... I built crit. He built spectral. I sold crit for auto attack speed. He sold spectral for mid-guardian. And then I got my last item online, the serrated. He had to sell his spectral after I got serrated because I had too much pen for his, his stuff, and then, I don't know, crazy. I'll see you guys in the last game of the video. What's up, boys? Welcome to the final game of the Surter video. Whether I win or lose, this will be the last game because we've hit the time constraint. I mean, we haven't hit it yet, but we will hit it during this game, probably. Fighting a Hera. Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. I don't know if I'm prepared for this. It's Raven again. Oh, he's a good player too. He's been playing really well. Oh, he paused. Can I level my abilities while paused? No, I can't. All right. I don't know why he paused. Maybe he's typing to me. Look how cool my sword looks, by the way. That's actually sick. Does it stay that, that color the whole time? Or is it only because he paused while I was loading in? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I guess he's just full pausing to, to annoy me. Because he's not messaging me or anything. So we're, we're just going to sit here and wait, I guess. 
Uh, I kind of want to go Soul Eater this game. I want to start Soul Eater because I feel like it's actually really good. Okay, let's think about a build, right? What if I went Transcendence? What if I went Soul Eater and then Transcendence and then Genji's? Is that super stupid? It does sound dumb as shit. I got to be honest with you. <laughs> like, it sounds like an, an absolute misplay. And yet, I find myself doing it. Huh. Um I mean because I'm I'm not starting Okay, hold on. How much does my 3 do? It only does 35 times 2. It only does 70. I guess that is more than my uh like if I were to level my 2 twice. I was thinking about maybe maxing my 2 this game. Because, like, Hera? Can I stun Argus? I'm pretty sure you can, right? Like, you can stun Argus and you can root Argus, but you can't, like, knock him back or anything. Right? I don't actually know if that's correct or not. Oh, he full clears. Hero full clears level three, so not much to do about that situation. Mm. This is going to be another like Hades situation, I think. Nice. Dude, he almost hit level 5 and killed me there. I want you to know that if he killed those minions, he was level 5 and I die. I think that's what he was going for so hard. I'm going to back now. I got red. I can give I can grab Soul Eater. Wait, did Soul Eater get nerfed this 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 patch? I don't know. I have to look at the stats. Dude, my mana is terrible. No, no wonder I'm a transcendent starter, dude. What am I doing? I do want to get my soul leader stacks, so. All right, he got his Kronos Pendant. I, uh, I don't know. If he Argus's me, actually, I'm pretty sure I just run, right? Like, if he Argus's me, I just, I just alt away. Nice. Just making sure I'm getting all my soul leader stacks stacking this bad boy as fast as okay I hate my life <laughs> what the hell man you can't just take my XP camp that's toxic all right he's probably gonna go breastplate second item every single hero player does the exact same thing yep that sucks I missed all of that XP I missed all of that XP. Well, not XP, but it's Soul Eater stacks. What? What is this? You can't kill me here. What is that?
My sweet summer child, I don't understand. I'm just ulting the mini wave, by the way. And then I want to make sure I'm getting all the stacks here. Because he's getting... The stacks from my minis dying also give me soul leader stacks. There we go. Nice. Massive amounts. It was actually giving me red buff. I don't really care if I lose my blue buff here. I'm just trying to grind for transcendence. I got Soul Eater finished here. Perfect. There's no way in hell he lets me have this, by the way. Okay, he let me have it. Alright, let's go get that Transcendence finished, and then... Now I actually have some sort of some sort of damage and I'm not just all sustain. And obviously the the 10 MP5 and 300 mana helps a lot. So y'all got to remind me after this game. <laughs> I I like how I say that like you can actively remind me. Um I want to check out the the difference they made to Soul Eater cuz it was it's 200 gold more expensive. So I want to know if they buffed it and made it like more expensive as well, or if they just straight up nerfed it. Okay, Contagion does actually fuck. But it doesn't give any cooldown, which I'm, I'm surprised he went for that. Nice. You know what? Actually, this matchup doesn't feel bad. I was fully expecting this matchup to feel like some asshole. But like, it actually feels really good. <laughs> He's just going to surrender. Watch. Watch. He surrenders now. No. No surrender. All right. He had no idea I was hiding there, dude. Just a simple walk up. Walk up and steal the blue. Nice. Now I can go Genji's. That's going to be all the cooldown I need. I'm now maximum cooldowned up. My second relic, I'm really feeling um, probably an Aegis this game, to be honest with you. You know what I could do? Actually, I could go Meditation. Lower my cooldowns a lot. And just see if maybe I can... Uh, Almost like, like cheese my, my stun with the Genji's proc and meditation procs. I can just like stun, 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 keep him there for like eight seconds. Bonk. I mean, you have beads, but like, do you live this? Nope, you do. You do, you do. Not 
Um. Okay. Ah, uh, I can't catch him. Nice. Nice. My three tapped him through the wall, which which slowed him down and, and sped me up. It slowed him for 15 seconds and gave me an extra 5% move speed. So that actually allowed me to catch up with him and, and kill him. And that's going to be the end of the video, dude. It's been a two hour and 30 minute recording, which is actually insane. Um, Really, really good games. Different builds every single game. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, real quick, before I do the send off, I do want to check the Soul Eater patch notes, which I'm going to do. Soul Eater, yeah, it's just a straight up nerf. They didn't change anything about it, but they changed, they made it 150 gold more expensive from 2100 gold to 2250. So they made it, they made it 150 gold more expensive, which actually is a really big nerf. But, oh well, that's the end of the video. Um, hey, yo, he messaged me on Twitch. Yo, GG. Yo, the guy, this Raven guy I've been fighting, he messaged me on Twitch and he said, please stop beating me up with Surter, LOL. <laughs> That's so funny. Look, I'll show you. I don't know. Can you see? If I bring it over here. <laughs> That's so funny. All right. GG's boys. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.